Hi, Bedford, and uh, welcome to your daily announcements. It's Austin. I'm Jacob. It's my boy Jacob. And uh, first off, we have a toy drive. Uh, we're collecting to new toys for kids of all ages, and uh, toys will be dropped off in the high school media center until December 10th. That's his birthday. That is my birthday. That's his birthday. Uh, for the Homeroom Holiday Door Decorating Contest, the annual BHS Homeroom Holiday Door Decorating Contest is going to begin next week. Uh, homerooms are going to have all of next week to decorate, and how there's cool. going to be two rounds of judging the following week. I know, how cool. The preliminary round is going to be completed by members of our admin team from the 13th to the 14th, and during the final round, the winners will be determined by student votes on the 15th and the 16th. Um, all homerooms are welcome to participate. Please note that the art department, uh, due to being too good and cracked, is going to be judged in their own category. We're going to have two winning homerooms, and uh, they will get a build-your-own hot chocolate bar during homeroom on the 20th of December. Oh. We look forward to seeing your holiday spirit. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Holmgren in 831. Um, the BHS online store. Lots of good gift ideas. You need a gift. And uh, you can use the link on the Bedford High School website to view the available items. Okay. For the uh, student staff volleyball game, uh, the senior class is looking for 12 to 18 seniors to play in the student staff volleyball game on December 22nd. If you're looking to sign up, see Miss Avalos in A25. Is it? Five dollars would be the cost. Boys and girls? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't want to play. All right. Uh, baseball workouts will start January 10th and will run Monday through Thursday from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. You got to have that physical on file. It's terrible. Uh, you can piss up, pick up a physical <laughs> from the main office. <laughs> So, uh, the Giving Tree students in action are conducting a holiday coat drive. They are going to be collecting new or gently used coats, hats, and gloves. This is going to be paired up with Paula's house and the lion's den here in Temperance. The collection box is going to be placed in the front lobby of the high school up until <coughs> December 14th. Driver's Ed. The Driver's Ed education curriculum is split into two segments as required for all teen drivers until age 18. <coughs> Visit Community Ed on the Bedford website for more info. And then anyone interested in becoming a tutor after school, please contact Mrs. Tennant in the Media Center or Ms. Garman in the Athletic Office. We need them tutors. You need a tutor. I do need a tutor. Um, <coughs> check out our YouTube at WMLZLP 107.9. And uh, it's currently at 203 subscribers. We can get that up. And who ups unsubscribed? That's messed up. I don't like that. Dang, someone unsubscribed. <laughs> at 250, we will have our next Bedford Swag giveaway. And uh, make your subscriptions public to be included in our giveaway. Please keep watching and subscribing, you know. Keep subbing. Keep subbing. Subathon. Oh, the weather. The weather. Um, your Thursday and Friday. Yeah. So for Thursday, it's looking breezy with clouds and uh, some sun. Friday is going to be uh, a rain or some snow shower. Yeah. I know. It's going to be 40 degrees the high, 30 degrees, 33 is the low. And Saturday is going to be the intervals of clouds and sun right. with a 42, a high of 42 and a low of 25. A crappy old Sunday. <laughs> it's like cloudy with a little rain and breeze. Don't go outside. High of 48, low of 32. There's the little cool radar. I, it's not even... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the, about that. I don't know about the radar. I'm not... I, I didn't study radiology. Hi, Bedford. Um, up next, we've got our uh, senior spotlights coming up. Okay. Also, uh, Austin's got a message for you. Yeah, make sure make sure you come down for those. It's only three questions. You might enjoy it when you're older. You can look back. You could probably squeak two. Squeak two if out. If you really don't want to do three. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. But just come check it out. Okay, it's going to be fun. Thanks. Hi, my name is Noelle, and this is my senior spotlight. Um, so my favorite class I took here was ceramics, and I just liked being able to create things in it. Um, my plans after high school are going to UT to major in bioengineering, and then hopefully going into the prosthetics. And then um, my most helpful teacher here is Mr. Dennis, just because he prepared me so much for the future. Uh, hey, my name is Logan Cook, and here is my senior spotlight. My favorite class to take here was construction with Mr. Vogel because he was probably the, one of the best teachers I've had here. 
Uh, my advice to the freshmen would be stick with your friends that are real and stick with them all the way throughout high school. Yeah, just have a bond. And if I could take any class again uh, more than once this year, I would definitely take construction again. It's one of the f most fun classes. Uh, hi, my name is Olivia Cunningham, and this is my senior spotlight. What was your favorite class to take here and why? Uh, my favorite class to take here was the cybersecurity classes because it really sparked my interest in computers and everything else related to computers. Um, my plans after high school is to become a computer engineer at um, Trine University. And then the most challenging task as a senior would probably be trying to figure out what to do, when to do it, and why you need to do it to get into college. Hi, my name is Angie Bushrow, and this is my senior spotlight. What will you remember most about BHS? Uh, I will remember going on my trip to Panama with Miss Canales. Um, what advice would I give to the freshmen to join clubs? They're super fun here, and I love them. Um, if you could take any class or teacher more than once, what would it be and why? I would take psychology with Miss Link because I love psychology and she's just an amazing teacher. Hi, my name is Heaven Fry and this is my senior spotlight. What are my plans after high school? I plan to attend UT or Western Michigan and for my undergrad and then go to dental school after. If I could change anything at BHS, what would it be and why? I would change that you could change, you could paint your parking spots in the driveway for seniorities. And if you could go back and change one thing, what would it be? I would change um, being more active in school activities. Hi, my name is Shay, and this is my senior spotlight. My favorite class to take here was black and white photography. Um, if I could take any class or teacher more than w once, it would be Mr. Sanderson, because he's my favorite. And the most challenging task as a senior is choosing what I want to do after high school. Hi, my name is Melanie, and this is my senior spotlight. Uh, what are your plans after high school? I'll probably go into nursing. <laughs> um, what is the most challenging task as a senior? Showing up. <laughs> if you could go back and change one thing, what would it be? Um, I was virtual f as, I as I was a junior, so I'd probably want to do in school.